Here she is, 2023 Bass Cat Bobcat. That's right, this replaced the Margay in the Bass Cat lineup. It is 17 feet, seven inches long, weighing in at a hefty 1,390 pounds, or should I say a light 1,390 pounds, 90 inch beam, so it's a pretty wide boat. Let me give you the full walkthrough here. Check out this brand new deal. This one's got the upgraded all treks on it. You can get whatever trolling motor you want on there. Uh, just the Lowrance uh, Elite 7. And then right here we got a, got a, like a built-in 9 in the dash, which you can do up to 9-inch units in the dash here. It's got that nice wide fiberglass dash. doesn't have the windshield mounted on there yet, but it will. But I'm going to give you the full walkthrough kind of show you what this boat is all about. We'll just walk, do the walk around. It's got the single axle trailer, which is what most of the Bobcats will do. It's got the 150, there she is, 150 Pro XS on the back. Got the solid Slide Master jack plate back there. And as you can see, it's got the drain plugs and all that kind of stuff, like every other bass cat every other bass boat mostly uh, but we're gonna i'm gonna jump on in here kind of show you what's in here so as you can see on the front deck there's three big compartments there's this nice step that i really like it's got the two steps and a little drawer in there i'll show you that in a second but we're gonna go all the way up to the front and as you can see up here in the front you got your your foot pedal is uh sunk in so it's nice and level when you're trying to stand here is the, the front end and then as you go back here we'll open up this big compartment this is the bigger rod but and look there's the sit down seat and the propole seat are both in there it shows you how big it is but as you can see there's uh, let's see 12 16 holes for rods plenty of storage for rods there's the rods go up through those little tubes on either side um, you got your little uh, security storage compartment up there keeps everything watertight you have some um, registration that kind of stuff but in this this compartment on this side here you'll see that there's spots for rods you can definitely put some more rods in this side if you need to you can't put the super long ones in there that's what you have to put in the big compartment uh, but you got your your running lights measuring boards in there tossed in there and then you got another compartment on this other side that you can put, you know, tackle rods in there if you'd like. Uh, but the windshield's in there uh, since this is brand new. So you got plenty of storage up here in the front. Uh, we'll go here to the to this little step that I was talking about. That's cool. Cool little storage spot right there. You can put, you know, your glove box kind of stuff in. And this one has the carpeted the flip up stuff so your coolers under there uh, you put all your drinks snacks sandwiches in there and then you got your, your little glove box right there it's always handy they used to have these in the premium models i really liked it i didn't have any problems with it um this has got under seat storage under both seats right there and there's got this nice lip on there that which helps keep the water out of these compartments under the seats I like that a lot and then as you look to the back deck you've got your live wells right here and they look like they're going to be small and so they're you, you look in there you're like oh it's you know it's got some depth to it but then you're like oh wow it's got some width to it on both sides you know so you open up both of these sides you can really see it a little more here that's pretty big live wells man you going crappy fishing i mean you can catch a whole load of the crappies in that thing stuff them in there get you about 30 pounds of bass stuff them in there uh, and then you got this back storage compartment here which is big it's got a drain in the bottom so water should get in there but it's got that lip all the way around it which helps a lot but that's a big compartment you can put a lot of stuff in there i recommend putting your heavier stuff in that back compartment but i'll show you back here big splash well area where I just stepped but I'm gonna open up this big the big compartment here is the 26 gallon gas tank uh, it's on this this far side and then you're gonna have your trays where the batteries will go 
One, two, three. This one's already got the Minn Kota charger built in, you know, already in there installed. And then you got access to all of your pumps, valves, live wells, even down in the bottom, you can see everything very easily. So there she is. That's the 2023 Bobcat from Basscat. 17 feet, seven inches, as I said, 90 inch beam, 1300, um, 1300 pound hull. And it's a, it's a sporty little boat. I've driven it a, a number of times. Driven the Margay, driven the, driven the, drove the uh, Bobcat last time I was out there at the dealer meeting. But there she is. Uh, I don't know what the top speed is gonna be. It's, it depends really on your load, but with a light load, um, you're definitely going to get uh, faster than you probably would think. You know, with the 150, I don't know. You, I don't. I don't want to quote any any words, but it's it's sporty little boat. It takes big water water very well, surprisingly well. You can see it's got a good V on that front, so it's not real shallow. It's got a good V to it to be able to cut through those waves. But there she is, 2023 Basscat Bobcat.